Another helpful tool for designing our boards is the fillet tool. And we use this when we want to get rid of sharp corners and round them off. So let's make a quick box, and I could do that using the rectangle tool. And let's say we want to give this rectangle rounded corners, because as you can see, these are some pretty sharp corners. They're perfectly at right angles. So I am going to go use the fillet tool, and that tool is on the right, right there. And let's say you can't find the fillet tool. You can also type a lot of these commands in directly to the command window. So I'm going to hit escape just to show you guys how that works really quickly. If I just type in the word fillet, F-I-L-L-E-T, and hit enter, it automatically prompts me to do the first thing for creating a fillet. If we look at the, the prompt, it says specify first entity. But I actually want to change something before I do that. Because if we look a little bit further up in our command window, and I'll stretch it a little bit bigger, it shows us that our radius is currently set to zero. That won't create any curve because that means that there's no radius. So we actually want to provide a radius so we know how much curve to give our corners. So I'm going to type in R for radius. And I did not dimension this rectangle, so I don't really know how big it is. So I'm just going to guess on a radius size, and if it turns out too big or too small, I'll just undo it and fix it later. So let's click on, let's make this radius 1 to start off. Hit enter. And for specifying the first entity, you're basically going to be selecting the two lines that you want to curve to each other. So if I'm going to curve the top left corner, I'm going to select the top line and then the left line. And that curve doesn't look too bad. It actually looks like a decent size for the size of the rectangle. But let's say it was too small for us. To undo, there is an undo button up here. And we can also click Control Z on our keyboard or type undo into the command window. And any of those three things will work for undoing your work. So if I wanted to make that curve bigger, I type in fillet, type R to change the radius. Let's make it a radius of two. And then let's say we also wanted to round all four corners. In our options, there's an option for multiple. If I type M, since we're going to be selecting multiple corners, I'm going to type M and hit enter. And now I'm going to go and select each of the corners. And then I can hit enter. And that's it. So we've just filtered our rectangle. I don't know if that's a word, but I just I just used it. 